morning, Southern California, AM 1220 KHTS. This is your host, Fred Arnold, on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. Uh, a longtime um, member of the chamber and a member of our community, uh, an attorney, grew up in the Santa Clarita Valley, went to Hart High School. Hope that doesn't alienate some of the Canyon grads or others, but uh, been involved in Santa Cruz Valley. Went and got great education and became an attorney and, and settled back in our city. Randall Armour, Randy Armour, the law offices of Randy, Randall D. Armour. But I call him Randy. Randy well, is correct, Randy. yes. Fred, well, welcome to the thank show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to have you. It's, uh, I, I know you've been a fixture in this community and you help people with estate planning, but some people go, what is estate planning? Tell me about what you do every day. Right. Estate planning encompasses a lot of different areas. Most people think of estate planning, they think of dying, which is why a lot of pe people don't like to uh, think about this. Or and deal with procrastinate it. Or deal with it. But uh, in, uh, estate planning involves a lot more than that. It's uh, who's going to raise your children. It's what happens if you become incapacitated. It, what happens if you're in the hospital. Who's going to be authorized to make those health care decisions for you. If you own a business. Uh, business succession planning is very important to be so that family business can continue and be passed down to the children. A lot of different aspects involved in estate planning. Well, let's um, let's talk a little bit about the different elements of an estate plan because I think there's many reasons why you need one. Um, one of them I want to bring up if you own real estate. Absolutely. Uh, if you own real estate, uh, there's a couple of things that you can do. Probate avoidance is in, in a, lot, a lot of people's minds, and that's what they think of when they do uh, set up a trust. Um, and there are other ways to avoid... So avoiding the high cost of, and time it takes to go through the probate process if you're not around to sell your house yourself. Probate is a very expensive, long legal process. If somebody owns real estate and they pass away, we can't pass that real estate to the children or anybody else. Um, unless they have a trust. Unless they have a trust. There are other ways that people try to avoid probate, like putting... Uh, children on title, whether they're adults or minors, bad idea. A lot of reasons you don't want to do that. Um, so yes, if you own real estate, even if you're married, it's very important that your real estate is titled correctly. We see a lot of instances where real estate's titled in the name of one spouse, or for tax purposes, it's not titled correctly. That's another aspect that we look at if we do your estate plan. You know, Randy, you mentioned something interesting. You might refinance and your property was in your trust properly put in by by uh, by your attorney, and then you refi and they take it out of the trust, but never put it back into the trust. And we're talking about title. It's not uncommon that I'm reviewing a trust for somebody that was done several years ago, and I always pull the title. I don't take their word for it, and I'll ask them if their house is in the trust, and they'll say yes. The title will say it's not, and they'll tell me I know it was in the trust. Well, I'm looking at the report, telling them, well, I see when you refinanced in 2007, your house came out of the trust. They don't even that, realize it. And as a mortgage professional myself, that is one of the most important things you need to take responsibility for if you take it out of trust, letting them know about that or having them do it. Let's talk about kids. I-4, and uh, my wife and I got a trust back in uh, ooh, at least 10 years ago, maybe longer, because uh, the question was asked to me one time, is there anybody in your family you, don't raise, you do not want raising your children? And I said, well... Yeah, there's a few. I don't want to insult them, but yeah, I prefer this right. uh, sibling over another. That's another great reason to have a trust. Extremely important and a good reason why a lot of young families need to do estate planning. Um, who is going to raise your children? If you don't plan and select somebody, the courts will select somebody for you, and it may be that person that you would not have chosen to raise your children. Yeah, they might be a great sibling or a great uncle, a great aunt. Uh, they might have been your parents, you know, where it could possibly go to. And no disrespect meant to them, but if you can tell the wishes ahead of time, then you can at least rest assured whenever you and your spouse go on vacation, whenever you're traveling together, you have the peace of mind to know things are taken care of for you if there's an accident. Absolutely. All too often in those, that situation when parents pass away, children are uprooted, um, have to go to a different state or... You know, they're raised by, by somebody with a completely different religious background. So these are considerations that you have to think about. And I'll give you a quick example. In ours, uh, we specified, uh, because we're the older of the family, we specified we want these individuals to raise our children in our house, and they get part of the appreciation of the house when they're done as a thank you. Exactly. And so we specified that so the kids wouldn't be uprooted. Their kids might be uprooted, but their parents aren't. Their parents are there. So we, and we ran it by them. And it worked out just fantastic. 
worked out even better because we're still here. Exactly. But the peace of mind is critical. Let's go to another uh, medical directive. Something happens to you and you can't speak for yourself because you have a stroke or you get in a car accident and you're in a coma. Again, things that people don't want to talk about. Why is that important? One of the most important pieces of an estate plan is the health care directive. And this is important for anybody to have over the age of 18. So if you have children over the age of 18, if they're in the hospital, parents oftentimes can't get information because of the federal laws, HIPAA. So it's a very important that everybody has a health care directive. You get to designate um, not only who's going to be able to make decisions for you, but who's going to be able to get information. And you can instruct your agents as to your wishes so that um, it's not somebody feeling that they're making decisions for you. They're following your instructions. It helps take the burden off of the family feeling that they're making decisions that you may not have wanted. I want to throw one more cur curveball at you. we got about a minute left. Any other recommendations? We talked about children. We talked about real estate. We talked to uh, any other recommendations such as your other assets, titling your other assets, your savings accounts, your checkings accounts in the name of the trust. Additional tips? If you have a trust, it's extremely important that your assets are titled correctly. That's crucial to make sure the trust will work. And one of the things that's very important for people with uh, retirement accounts, the 401ks, IRAs, it's very important that those are titled correctly. They may be titled, um, or rather you may name the trust as a beneficiary. They're not titled in the name of the trust, but the trust has to be set up correctly. Otherwise, there will be dire tax consequences. Yeah, there'll be some challenges. Now, I know one thing uh, that you do do, you do a lot of seminars. So if this is a year from now, check your website to see if there's additional seminars. But you have a couple coming up. Right. And you go on my website. It's uh, www.armorlaw.com, A-R-M-O-U-R. I have some seminars coming up uh, in March uh, next month, March 9th, 12th, and 14th. Very informative seminar. There's a lot of information here, a lot of information people know before they do an estate plan. Um, it's going to be at uh, Wolf Creek Restaurant and Brewing Company. Includes a free lunch or dinner, depending on Saturday is a, is a lunch, and Tuesday and Thursday we're going to have a dinner. And I do these uh, about every other month for the community. And once again, includes a free dinner, but we do fill up. So you can call my office at 661-259-0003, and my staff will make you a reservation. So if you want to come, call early, because once again, we will fill up. Well, Randy, thank you very much for coming in. You're a true uh, professional, true expert in thank the you. field of estate planning, and uh, it is an honor to have you. Ladies and gentlemen, Randall D. Armour, the law office of Randall D. Armour, and uh, our good friend Randy from the Santa Cruz Valley. Uh, you've been listening to and watching online the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight on AM 1220 KHTS.